Hello, y'all. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. It's Friday. It's sunny, but it feels like March out there, doesn't it? But we are rejoiced and grateful for the sun shining today. Um, I wanted to make this Zoom meeting available for fellowship and just uh, seeing your faces and, and whatever, but it was last minute notice, and I'm uh, certainly not expecting uh, people to be here if, if you can't. We're busy. There's not a perfect time to do this, but I am going to make the meeting available at noon on Fridays unless anybody's got a better time to do so. So, here we are. What is it, week eight, week nine, whatever it is of our current situation? It's uh, my hope and prayer that you're finding time uh, slowing down, that uh, there are blessings and there are ways that God is speaking to us through this. It certainly doesn't mean that everything is perfect. I've had my share of ups and downs just this week myself. So um, <clears throat> it's, it's my prayer that your week this week is going good and that uh, you're looking at everything with a discerning heart and um, what God might be doing and where he might be leading you in your lives. Um, certainly do miss seeing everybody's faces. We had a session meeting the other night. It was nice to see some some folks. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I was just getting to know people uh, when this whole thing started. So I, I saw a couple names. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what that person looks like. I don't know if I should be admitting that or not. But I've got all your faces in my head. And sometimes I can't remember names and faces and all that stuff. So um, anyway, I hope everybody's having an awesome week. Uh, and we're keeping our faith focused beyond our circumstances. Let's read Psalm 31 together. And then... Uh, who knows what we'll do after that? Maybe nothing. Um, 31, 1 through 5 is a lectionary text reading for today. It goes a little something like this. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. You know, we've heard those words before in 31, Psalm 31, 5 there. Uh, Jesus himself said that while he was on the cross um, in Luke 23, 46, entrusting everything to God's care. You know, it, it's it reminds me of the time that we're currently in right now and how hard it really is to entrust everything into God's care. And sometimes his plan doesn't exactly align with our plans and we just want things to be, to be nice and uh, go the way that we want them sometimes. So uh, we are reminded today by that verse, into your hands I commit my spirit, deliver me, O faithful God. Also, uh, uh, verses 15 and 16, my times are in your hands, deliver me from the hands of my enemies. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. My times are in your hands. In other words, all the events and circumstances are in the hands of the Lord, not in our hands. Things are not uh, up for us to decide or in our control. They're in the control of the Lord. And we are reminded of that today again um, as we continue to sift through uh, sifting is something to do with sand, but row through these waters uh, that can be troubled sometimes. So um, my hope again and my prayer again is that everybody's doing good this week. We'll look forward to seeing you again on Sunday at 1030 for another uh, Facebook Live worship. It certainly sounds as if we'll go. I think it's I think I can officially say that through May we will be online with Facebook worships. Um, if I'm saying anything blasphemous, uh, somebody please put it in the comments, but I, I don't think that uh, that's the case at this point. So uh, if anybody has suggestions for better times to do this, again, I would like a Zoom with 10 people on here just to be able to chat about life and pray for each other. So um, if there's other times that we could do that, that would be great. Uh, if there's other things that you'd like me to cover, other areas of need, um, my my way of coming to you is is filling up the the social media because I can't I can't be there I can't see you um, I'm a, I'm an hour away so um, whatever need there might be there let me know I certainly um, continue to check in on members of the congregation and the shut in list and that sort of thing but um, if there's other things that are out there uh, Bible study ideas other ways to do that uh, totally totally uh, open ears for that so stay tuned this Sunday we have a special message. Um, unconditional love is the name of the sermon. We're going to be looking at John chapter 14 um, and also um, 
just a little something special, a little something different than what we've been doing. Um, it'll still be a traditional church service. It'll still look a lot uh, like the recent ones have, and hopefully the Word of God will speak to you through the message. Uh, we will have a, just a couple, let's call them surprises uh, in there. So um, anyway, uh, let's see, did I have anything else for today? Not that I can think of. Again, I'd love for some engagement in the com comments about what might work better or, or, or what, how, how can we, how can I, how can the church pray for you? And we, until we meet again on Sunday, I hope that, uh, I pray uh, that we continue in faith and remember the control is in God's hands. And uh, if you're like me, there's pieces of every day where it's really, really difficult hard to remember the big picture um, in things and uh, just ask God together for a discerning heart, wisdom, guidance, and, and the courage that we need to face every day. So that's my prayer for you today. Um, I'm thankful for anybody that's watched this video and uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see each other again next week on, on Zoom here. My plan is noon next Friday. Um, again, unless you got some different ideas there. So God bless church. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.